online presence. The World Wide Web holds wide appeal for teenagers with nearly half using the internet almost constantly. That's according to a new poll. The findings may not surprise parents, and as CTV's Paul Hollingsworth reports, experts say too much screen time and social media can have a downside. Paul. Jason and Katie, those downsides can affect mental and physical health. Ask a 15-year-old how much time is spent on social media. The answer you'll often get... Pretty much all day. What are the most used social media apps? Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. How often do they snap on Snapchat? All day. None of the surprises, Giles Croach. These are all fast-moving, high-paced uh, types of content and, and short form as well. Croach says some online apps by design target teenage dopamine receptors. When it comes to technology and social media, these apps are designed to hit our dopamine. And teenage brains, their chemistry is very different from adult brain chemistry. So what the apps are trying to do is hit the teenage brain where they're really susceptible. According to psychologist Simon Sherry, when screen time goes up, other lifestyle habits go down. Reading is on the decline. Television consumption is on the decline. Sherry says excessive screen time for young people brings numerous mental health risks. Depression, loneliness, and distractibility. A lack of sleep, minimal exercise, and increased instances of obesity are also major concerns. The screen time can become a problem when it starts to displace other things from your life. When you're spending more time on the screen, than at the gym, at a park, in real-time social interaction. Sherry says to reduce social media and internet interactions, education is very important. They need to be aware of surveillance capitalism being part of screen time. Some of the best and brightest scientists and business people in the world are dedicated to capturing their attention on screen. Croach says there are some upsides that go with these trends. This was a global pandemic where, where we had the internet and we have social media. So we were able to uh, find that social connection that we desperately need. Social media played a critical role in maintaining friendships. Giles Croach also said young people like a lot of us were stuck inside during the pandemic and during those times they used social media platforms to stay in contact with their friends and maintain lines of communication. Yes, it resulted in screen time being increased, but Croach also says there was a health benefit with an upside based on those connections and those communications. Jason and Katie. Thank you very much, Paul. That's CTV's Paul Hollingsworth tonight. In